Well, isn't Sphinx supposed to be a room sweeper? What's he doing spacing out in the bazaar all morning long? Well, the thing is, he can't start sweeping until after 7 o'clock because then it's when all the hippies vacate their rooms and board these long-distance buses to Erat Le Kabul. Yeah, so he's got all that time before 7 just space out and have non and chai and, you know. Um, yeah, and... Uh, yeah, uh, Aladdin is uh, uh, Ali's first cousin, and Aladdin feels so honored. Look, original disciple of of Omar, rare. Uh, well, Aladdin, he, by marriage, he's also related to the occult Balkistani uh, clan who knows the secret of the mystery of the molding hashish and how to hand press it so you just, like, never come down. Uh, he's honored to have him, and uh, in the natural flow of uh, kismet, uh, Sphinx becomes a regular, familiar uh, personality uh, in his uh, tea house. Uh, to the point, it's just like uh, Aladdin can set his watch. Yes, uh, 545, here comes Sphinx. Yeah, here's your, uh, here's your uh, place. Yeah, sit down on that carpet on the divan. What does surprise Ali, though, yeah, is that Sphinx offers to sweep his tea house, as he's opening up, I mean, this is shuttered, uh, uh, floor-to-ceiling shutterings, kind of accordion shutterings, wood shutterings. They padlock that, padlock that up at night uh, to sweep with no reward uh, for his humble work in return. Uh, oh, sure. Uh, the vibe is mellow. You know, it's the cool time of day uh, in the Oxiana Tea House and Bakery. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sphinx sweep, sweeps his place out religiously, regularly. It's almost like it's a kind of yoga for him or something. And, uh, oh, here comes the non. Up and up, flip maneuver. Ooh. It, t it takes you a few generations to get the, the hack of it. You got you to gotta learn it. You know, between uh, death and birth, it's got to bardo into you. The fresh baked nun, warm. Oh. Aromatic. Mm. Weedy. Wholesome. Seductive. Okay, addictive. Yeah, all right. Well, the tea wall is especially busy. Why? Because uh, this week, for the whole week, they're having the only once a year annual dog fights in uh, Kandahar. Yeah, on the outskirts, not far from here. You can walk. And uh, so every tea house, not just uh, 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 Aladdin's, Oxiana Bakery, and tea house, all of them, they're just overflowing with out of town uh, dog fighters. And their gambling crazed entourages. Yeah, I mean, Alan's wife is originally from Balk, and so he naturally attracts, attracts business from that part of Afghanistan, just 80 kilometers north of the Oxus River. That's why he calls it the Oxiania. That means the region of the Oxus. Oh. Yeah, uh, adrenaline blood sport. Imagine cockfighting, but instead of uh, cocks, you've got dogs. You've got mastiffs with real spike collars that are sharpened spikes to kill other dogs. They fight to the death. The Afghanis love this, huh? Jeez, it's better than hitting a goat carcass pretending it's polo. Buscazi, huh? That's good, you know. But then the dog fight, huh? Ugh. Dripping with blood and guts. Here we go. Um, so the, the, the gossipy dwarf yeah, uh, uh, works his on oven, facing the street from his elevated platform. And, uh, he chats to the passing crowd. Oh! Sees the ankle of Set his eye on her. Uh, that ankle, huh? Everything else totally covered, huh? Face. It's got a grill over it, a cloth grill. Yeah, he, he checks out the ankle. And, uh, yeah, he says to the people, what, what, what the hell do you think you're doing? Going to work? 
You got a you got a list of to do bullshit. Look, I got the Devon, I got the Brazier Fire, I got the Nun, the Chinese tea, and I've got the trap door in my Mac room. Pull up that trap door. What's underneath? Stand up hookah from Balkistan. Compliment of the establishment. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, he's got the samovar, uh -huh, brass samovar, regal. Mm -hmm. He's holding court, the dwarf, huh? turns on the spigot, fills up uh, teapots, boiling water, baking naan. Simultaneously, oh, at chatting with his patrons, now they're coming in, you've got, uh, he, he jokes, dwarfs, uh, uh, so people lounging around on his uh, humble pavilion. Well, what's that look like? There's like four beds. They're called charpoy beds. Instead of springs, they have twine weaving together in crisscross patterns. Then you put pads on those. Then you put carpets on those. There's four of them, and they're, they're in a square. They're in a rectangular pattern. And inside the kind of square that thinks it's a rectangle is a metal brazier. That's something that will hold a uh, fire without burning through the bottom and burning your place down. Yeah, throw some Afghani carpets around. It's a fun place to start the day. I'm just saying. <laughs>